everyone it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title this is a Victoria's Secret inspired collaboration with some of my girls here on YouTube Sandra Deluxe Alyssa Ashley and this is Symphony please check out their videos I will link it down below and please show my girls some love now if you want to see how I achieve my look then please continue to watch this video I hope you guys all enjoyed that intro I apologize if it's a bit long we did have quite a lot of fun filming this video for you guys so let's get started now the first thing I'm gonna do is move on to the skin and I'm gonna prep my skin so today I'm gonna use the MAC fix plus spray and I'm just applying it all over my skin to refresh in the skin and now I'm gonna go in with some primer and today I'm using the hourglass veil primer this one is a little bit on the pricey side but I want to try something new I want to see if um, this one would make my makeup last longer but now we're gonna move on to gleam by Melanie Mills and this is just gonna bronze up the skin because the Victoria's Secret models they have really nice bronzy glowy skin so that's the look I was going for today to apply my foundation I'm gonna use the artiste brush and I just wet it with the MAC fix plus spray and today's foundation is the MAC studio fix fluid mixed with the MAC pro long wear foundation I love the coverage that gives now um, you don't have to use like a full coverage foundation because the Victoria's Secret's uh, models they do have more of a glowy dewy very natural skin I however love coverage but I try to do a lot to make sure that my skin still looks glowy and dewy so that's the foundation I'm using today and then we're gonna move on to concealer to cover my dark circles because I barely slept when I made this video it was actually like three o'clock in the morning so I'm just gonna add some MAC Pro Long concealer under the eyes to cover them dark circles up and I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge to blend the product moving on to highlight I'm gonna use the Mac studio finish concealer which is a few shades lighter than my skin tone to highlight and I apply it under my eyes down my nose my forehead my chin area I basically have a foundation routine video and nothing's really changed it's the same process so I'm gonna kind of speed through this just a little bit because it's very repetitive now for my contour, I'm going to use a matte mineralized skin finish in the shade Deep Dark and I apply it in the hollows of my cheek along my forehead with a huge powder brush. This one is from, I believe this is the Morphe E2 brush. I love using this for my contour. Now my look was more inspired from some of the past looks, the past Victoria's Secret model looks. I was looking at some of the photos online and a lot of them had the bronzy glowy skin. So that's the look I was going for. Now I use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana just to clean up my contour and I apply just a small amount under my eyes just to set the concealer in place. And now we're going to move on to the brows. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brows Pencil to fill in the brows. And the shade that I use is in dark brown. I went just a tiny bit, a little bit thicker with my brows. Next we're going to move on to the eyes. So I like to use a base on the eyelid and this is just going to help my eyeshadow last all day long. It also makes my eyeshadow looks a lot more pigmented. And the first eyeshadow I'm using is one of my favorites, Caramel. And it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Any light brown eyeshadow with a warm tone will do. So I just pop that into the crease using the Sigma E40 brush. And you guys, this is a really easy look to achieve. So next we're gonna move on to applying a very soft light pink eyeshadow onto the eyelid and I'm just patting that off just for a better payoff. I'm not exactly sure of what um, the name of the shadow is but I will list it in the description bar down below. And I'm just gonna go back in with my Sigma E40 brush just to blend. So today is a no wing liner type of day and I'm going to apply some black gel liner as close to my natural lash line as possible and this will just help to hide my lashes when I apply them, my false lashes. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lashes because you know a girl got to put on some mascara. And then I'm going to apply some lashes. The lashes I'm using is Monaco by Lily Galici and I actually stack my lashes today. So I use Monaco and NYC also by Lily Galici and I just apply them and and then I'm just going to go back into the eyeshadow caramel just to blend. Next, I'll be taking the eyeshadow Mirage by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. It's a vanilla shade and I'm just going to pop that right at the inner corner of the eyes just to brighten up the eyes a bit. 
And you guys, this is basically it for the eye look. I'm just applying some mascara to my top lashes to blend them into my falsies. And then I'm going to apply some mascara on the bottom lashes to give them a bit of length. If you notice, my eye on the right is a little different on the bottom lash line because I actually had eyeshadow on the bottom lash line and I applied quite a bit of mascara, but I didn't like how that eye look so I wanted my eye to look more like the one that we just did so I removed some of the eyeshadow from the bottom lash line and also some of the mascara because I was feeling the more like very neutral soft eyes now that the eyes are completed I'm gonna go ahead and complete the face and I'm gonna dust away all that excess unnecessary powder that I do not need anymore and I'm just gonna reapply some of that bronzer bronze up the skin makes it look nice and bronzy and now we are gonna move on to one of my favorite things to do which is the uh, the glow life you guys know I like to glow right so today I'm gonna use the Mac mineralize I believe this is gold deposit yes it is it's one of my all-time favorites and I love it because it makes the skin look nice and golden and bronzy but I also went in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills illuminator so Hollywood and I applied on the highest point of the cheekbones as well except for I lost that scene and I apply a bit on my cupid's bow and we're gonna apply some soft pink blush the blush I'm using I'm not exactly sure of the name but it is by makeup geeks and I'm applying it on the apples of the cheeks so you guys, I was a bit excessive with the highlighter today, so I added a bit more highlighter. I'm using the So Hollywood by Anastasia, making that skin look nice and glowy. And now we are going to move on to the lips. Oh, no, we're not. So I wanted to show you guys that I actually did align my waterline with a nude pencil. And now we're going to move on to the lips. So I didn't know what exactly I was going to do to my lips. I know it's going to be soft pink, but I wanted to line my lips with a brown lip pencil. And this is MAC Chestnut. I couldn't find my cork that I always use. And then I'm going to apply a NYX Cosmetics um, liquid lipstick all over the lips. And then I go in with a light pink gloss just to make the lips look nice and juicy and plump and glossy. And this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to check out my girls i will list them in the description bar down below and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys bye